Hello and welcome to Radius Tech Time. Do your digital display labels look like this? Using chemical cleaners, disinfectants, and even paint can prematurely wear out your digital display label. Now we only recommend you using warm soapy water to wipe them down and clean your labels, but if they do look like this, don't worry, replacement's easy. If you have our 1015 mixer, you're gonna need this label, and here's the part number for it. If you have our 5315 or 5025 model, you're gonna need this part number. Now to get these labels, just give our customer service a call, place the number right up top here for you, and give them the part number to the label that you need. Now, replacement's very easy. Follow me and I'll show you how to do it. For 1015 models, first start by peeling off the label. You do not need to remove any of the lights or switches on there. Just peel the label directly off, like this. Now it will leave some residue behind. There's no need to clean that. Using Goof Off or other cleaners will leave a film and your new label will not want to stick. Next, simply peel off the 3M backing and place the sticker right back on. Line the window up for the timer and everything else will line up perfectly. For 5025 and 5315 mixers, a little extra work is needed. You'll need a 516 socket or nut driver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a Phillips screwdriver. First, we're going to start by zipping off the 516 nuts that hold the timer plate onto the machine. Once those are removed, on the back of the panel, we'll first start by removing the 20 amp breaker. Remove both black wires, and you'll notice there's two little clips that hold it in place. We need to pinch those to push the breaker out. It can be a little easier with some needle nose pliers. Gently pinch and push forward, which will allow the 20 amp breaker to fall out. Next, there are two screws that hold the e-stop button in. Loosen those with your Phillips screwdriver. And then this will allow the button to be separated. Gently turn your e-stop button to the left or counterclockwise and that front will pop off, releasing the back. Next, just like the 1015, start at one corner and pull the sticker directly off the plate. Again, there will be some residue. Do not clean that up, just leave that on. Next, we'll remove the 3M backing on our new label and place that on the timer plate. Again, line up the counter window, will align everything nice and easy. Now we just reverse the steps. We'll reinstall our 20 amp breaker, which just pushes in like so. Then our e-stop button, place the e-stop button in and turn clockwise and you should feel it snap in place. Once the e-stop button is secure, tighten down the holding screws once those are tight, we're going to want to test to make sure the e-stop is installed correctly. Press the e-stop button. If it stays in, it is installed correctly. Give it a twist and then reconnect the wires to your 20 amp breaker, just as you took them off. Once installed, place your timer plate back on. Resecure the four fasteners, which are a 5 16th, and you're all set, ready to go. Plug your machine back in, it should light up, and give it a quick test run. Make sure your buttons are lined up correctly. Everything works, and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching Radius Tech Time. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to see all our new videos.